Hello, hello everybody. We are going to be continuing our adventures here in Pokemon Coliseum on Christmas because I decided, yeah, screw it. Why not? I was in the mood for a stream and nothing was holding me back, so why not? Also, changed a few settings. Now the menu actually loads quickly. But, to begin with, we shall head to Pyrite Town for two reasons. One, to, pro like, because uh, I was informed that after you run off Mirror B, Mystery Lab, a sinister and menacing laboratory that was built in the desert without notice. All right, well, put a pin in, we're going to put a pin in that, <laughs> and we're going to go to Pyrite Town, and, uh, yeah, go to where Mirror B was in the cavern system. And just uh, see what's down there since I was informed last stream that there's something there. And why not? Because I do believe they said a dear chatter told me that I was able to go and do the thing. So we shall. Oh, it's all gonna be rematches, huh? Too bad for you, this elevator's off limits. So did they just reset? Alrighty then. Fampion Vibrava. Do you only have two Pokemon because I like took your shadow Pokemon last time? Because I, I, I could have sworn that the Vibrava came out later. Yeah, you just have two Pokemon now. Uh, I guess, uh... Murder time. Bite them both, I guess. I'll also have to look and see who has the exp EXP share. So that we can do efficient diddly dee. Santo. You jerk. How dare you try to be Gara? I like Entei. And they looks cool. Although now I'm gonna be on the constant lookout, waiting for like the next legendary dog to come in. I guess I'm gonna be like replacing Theodore at some point with Suicune. That also means that Lammy is gonna get replaced with what's his name. Raikou. You just keep missing with with the sand tomb. <laughs> Get a new move, <laughs> you, you meringue. Why did that bite do so much more damage than the last bite? Or did it was Theodore that used bite against you earlier? This was like, wait a minute, I used that move on you. <laughs> I forgot just how utter flipping your <laughs> fainting animation is. This didn't happen. I guess she believed it, because she tried again. This didn't happen. Immediately wipes memory from self. <laughs> the door is locked. Jail key. Darn it. I think I did the same thing last time I was here. Let me guess, child won't fight? What do you think you're doing here? I've been here before. You idiot! I forgot to look at... Well, I already know who has it. Windy. Just wonder if I should... Flip it around. Well, I guess we'll just annihilate one after another. Every single time I'm gonna be in double battles now... That did nothing. That... And that did everything. What the hell? I feel like I've been flipped. Darn you fly away, you jerk. That's weird. Hmm. Well, <laughs> luckily we're like right next to it, but... Like a healing station, but that's so weird. But that did like no damage. 
And then that did all the damage. What is in that knock towel? You bitch! They both- they're alternating flying! The jerks! And that Taylor is just going to annihilate. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fire blast- actually, yeah, I should be fire blasting. Because I'm- I'm right next to a healing station! Why is that knock towel horrifying? You're gonna kill father, aren't you? Why do you have so much power? You bastard! They are alternating! You little bitch! Which, I guess that we attack Noctowl with Theodore, because he goes last. Die, you jerk. Oh, you give so pitiful experience points despite being just an utter monster. Haha, <laughs> you fool. I knew you'd do that. And you still resist bite so well. What are you? Are you a demon? Are you a monster? That was just a weird fight, and also, holy shit, Theodore is big. And we stole his sneaker money once more. I must level up some more. Please don't. I would like it if you did not. I thought this was just gonna be a quick old roll. A quick old just little jaunt on down to the cavern. Hey, yo, these Pokemon large, they are. Uh, my Pokemon are looking for a chance to go wild again. I guess these people just decide, like, oh, they, <laughs> these two guys, this guy and a girl, just ran through and just utterly annihilated all of us. And then they all got collective amnesia and forgot that I was the one who did it, so they all act like I'm new. Alright. Uh, I guess we can focus down the bar, Boach. Maybe. These rematches have been slightly scary. Darn it. Almost killed the bar, Boach. Also, I want there to be an option to kick Rui out so, so we can have Umbreon and Espy on the sidecar. Exactly! That is the one thing that I keep just... Every single time we get into the bike, I'm like, I... You killed your friend. <laughs> okay? But every single time we travel to a new location, I just remember, like, that one... That one time we got to see it. I guess two times. Before we got Rui. It was just like, it was so cute. Umbreon and Espeon were in the sidecar. And then just... <laughs> Rui has to come in and kick him out. Give us, like, a, a second sidecar on the other side. I want my do my darling boys to be represented. Shove Rui into the Pokeball. Not very effective. Still did a decent amount of damage. And then got a critical hit on Poopatar. I just love the animation of everything just getting washed away, like, ah! It amuses me. And, uh, darn it, you are a dark type. Dark water, so that's pointless. But that's all he has. I guess I can leer him, but then I just have sir. Then again, that, he, hmm. He took that much damage from... Surf. I don't think I need to fear him. Really? Cringe. Gay Umbreon and Espeon based. Epic even. Indeed. My gay dogs, who are also terrorists, they deserve representation. 
They deserve another date where they get to blow up an entire criminal hangout. I want to go wilder! Please don't! I know that you said that before, but don't. Love the t terrorist representation. Especially us, where we're terrorists against criminal organizations. And then have proceeded to not terrorize again. If only we had more explosives. <laughs> Apparently, I'm told that there is plot reason why we don't have more explosives. Which, honestly, I'd believe it. I need to manage my Pokemon. Who should we throw out? I guess we should level up one of the boys. And Wendy has been getting decent, so we'll move over to Lammy. Give Lammy a bit. Again, d deposit and give just kind of confuses me, because to me they're kind of the same thing. Deposit feels like put in. Same thing with, like, give. I don't know why. My, my brain might just be bad with that one word. Umbreon's crime are terrorism. Espeon's crimes are tax evasion and possible prostitution. Nah, I'd feel like Umbreon would be the possible pros pro 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 prosperity. Yeah, possible prosperity. My tongue decided to wibble wobble the words into that. Not another Magnemite. And I just put father away. Darn you, steel types. The bane of my existence. Eh, let's do surf, because why not? Theodore, surf this fish to death. It's knocked out animation actually really worked with the surf animation. Oh, that actually worked. And now for it to like one shot Theodore. Goodbye, Theodore, you did good. It almost did, it tried its damnedest. Uh I guess surf, because despite being an electric type, I guess the steel balances it out. Nom upon the steel ball. Dent it and crunch it. Take its soul. I don't know why Surf hitting a steel Pokemon makes a fleshy splat sound, but sure. Emergency! Mayday! Mayday! This is the second time. Why are you all still- I, Is this place just an insane asylum with people with, like, emotional support Pokemon they send out to battle? Everyone here seems just a little bit nuts. Or criminal. Or maybe both, considering Mirror B was in here. Then again, I guess it kind of makes sense that these guys would have- some level of, like, retryability because I think some of them had shadow Pokemon. You're like bug Pokemon drawn to a candle. I'm going with these Pokemon. I just realized that he's trying to say moth, but they can't say moth because real animals don't exist anymore. I require an emotional support, Eevee, for hugs and sanity checks. Don't we all? We all deserve an adorable Eevee. Who can also, like, annihilate our enemies. Hmm, two electric types. I should probably... Uh... I should probably send you away so you don't die. Let's see, who should we throw in? You're part flying, so you just get annihilated. Come in, Espeon. The boys are back at it, murdering again. As long as they don't get, like, super paralyzed and die. Annihilate that Voltorb. Darn it. 
Then what are you gonna do, Electrike? Use the same thing. On the s <laughs> oh yeah, because I swapped out a water type, so they're like, we're gonna do the same thing! Annihilate that Voltorb. Oh wait, I forgot. I think I was told that, like, uh... Explosion and self-destruct aren't in this game, so I shouldn't be that afraid, but still. Every single time I see one of these bastards, I'm just like, I have to get rid of it. It's going to take me down as a suicide move any moment now. Oh, now it's... I am lucky that Espeon is at least as slightly tanky as his boyfriend. Yeah, secret power. And Psybeam. Blows up Electrike with mind. I love my Espeon. He's such just an utter nuke. Obliterating all that stands before him. I just have to actually level up my other Pokemon just a little bit. This wasn't a good enough. This is a dilemma. Good on him for knowing that word, considering he's a bodybuilder in a Pokemon game. No glory for the fallen. I'm crushed. Not enough to not try again. This is the, this is the kind of player I am. Immediately run back to heal. Why use your commercially sold super potions when there is free health care in the dilapidated insane asylum? Also, I just kind of realized on some level, considering I should, I should take this opportunity. Go ahead, fight me. My beloved Pokemon, see? <laughs> Fresh prey! Might as well take this opportunity to get, like, some more levels in. Some more experience and attacks and such. Because... While my Pokemon are strong, I don't want to be too far behind with my dear Pokemon. I need to be careful. Annihilate that Whooper. Give him quite the Whopper. And you only did 11 damage, you foolish little bird. Nom nom nom. I think that whooper would, like, unironically fit entirely within Theodore's mouth. Still love the music in this game. Quit drilling into my giant alligator! Impressive that it did, like, that kind of spin without moving its wings at all. Just realized. Can it even bend its wings? I think you need to take your poor Pokemon to see a doctor. My beloved Pokemon! Go see a doctor. Not only because they're beat up, but also because your your Wingle couldn't move its wings. You fool! Hmm. Put you in front. Take back and, I guess, give to Windy. Windy can win by doing absolutely nothing. Well, actually... You get more experience if you're not there, so Wendy should be put in. Sorry, Wendy. Uh, you don't get to be lazy today. It is Lammy who gets to be lazy today. Lammy gets a vacation. But there's no... What's it called? Pokemon daycare, so he has to just stay in the back. Come and get some! We're gunning our engines! There aren't any engines in this place. None that are working, at least. Maybe one for that one elevator, but I don't know. Two elevators. Ah, your Lady Ba evolved. Good for you. Look at my adorable little boy. Hmm. I 
forget what synthesis does. I eh, might as well try. Oh, it's a heal move. Probably should have expected that. But it's like, oh, it's a five. Fire, like... Entei's super fire move is a five. Obviously, this is like a grass nuke. Because I'm a fool. Oh, critical hit. That did basically nothing. But I'm going to shift because that do duo be scary. So we must murder him. Maybe that'll be enough to kill through Mega Drain. Oh, I forgot. You're going to hit yourself, aren't you? Windy, you airhead. You're going to punch my poor beloved J Jumpluff? All of the multi-hits go to poor Windy today. Windy came out for a fight, and instead it is a slaughter. Congratulations, Windy. You survive. Barely. But, oh yeah, I forgot you hit yourself. Because you're an idiot. We shall swap Windy out, and uh, we shall throw Lammy in. Oh, you bastard. The game read my move. I can't believe the game was a bastard and read my move like that. Then again, it basically that's the only kind of move that's only good for AI, really, that reads your moves. Because you can never tell when your opponent are, is going to swap out, and the AI never swaps out, really. I didn't realize that Duduo, when getting hit, wags one of its talon feet at you. And because Wendy died, Lammy got all the experience. You have picked a poor day to be a Swablu. Kill. Get flinched, idiot. And Thunderbolted, double idiot. Despite you not having anything to do with it, that is vengeance for poor Windy. Super Sonic. You don't have the Chaos Emeralds. I'm mostly confused why that lady di di like didn't try to confuse... I guess confusion that might be a psychic move, so it wouldn't work on Umbreon. But at the same time, many of the other AIs have been utter utterly dumb and willing to do that stupidity. Dropped into dirt. Well, take pride. By being a cheating AI, you managed to faint one of my Pokemon. That's kind of a rarity. I only lost because I didn't have a shadow Pokemon this time. Not really. But I guess for super power leveling, I could just put out the Pokemon with the XP share. So they can be supercharged. Come back to life, Wendy. You had a rough go of it. Where I thought synthesis would be good, because, ah, five points! Fire Blast has five points. For I am but a basic bitch. But unfortunately, you, you get to go back and have a break, Windy. My Pokemon are solid troopers! I don't get to have guns. Although that would be a, a, a terrifying, just hold thing that a Pokemon could have. <laughs> just throw out, like a, like a Mr. Mime, it pulls out a gun. Mr. Mime, use Glock. See if Thunder works on Celio. I can never tell with typings. For all I know, Ice might just be like, ah, oh, you see, Ice uh, protects against it. 
Nope, you still die. You live with one health! You bitch! But luckily, Icy Wind doesn't do much, right? I was half expecting a crit that just took Lammy down to half health just to spite me. Well, I think the game just spite me. Sure. Whatever you say, game. <laughs> oh yeah, because it lowered my speed. Does that mean that that Celia was going to get lucky and one-tap my poor Lammy before it even gets a move this time? Please don't do that. You bitch. Attack Umbreon. And now you are the one to survive with one HP. Oh dear. And a level up for the boy. Okay, now kill the snow runt. Get him out of here. If it survived, that would have been ever so slightly painful. How'd this happen? Because you deserve it. You meany, meany, mean man. I wonder if these trainers have unique dialogue if they win. Probably not. Because that means that you'd have to get blasted, wake up in front of them, they give a one-liner, you pass out, you wake up at like a Pokemon Center or something. Heal again, because poor old Lammy is very low. And I want to keep leveling them. At least this isn't like Dark Souls. Every time you rest at a Pokemon Center, all your enemies respawn. That would be horrifying. Surely there's already a Pokemon mod like that out there. As you explore a broken down, like, murder zone, remember to drink some tea. My Pokemon can dance of elegance even in a dump like this. Well, if it's a dump, why are you here? Bragging rights? Oh boy. I believe that's part poison type, which means you shall be annihilated. All right. Psybeam that one and Thunderbolt that one. And pray to God that things don't go wrong. It shocked expression. It did not expect a psychic. And super level up for Lammy. Of course. What? Oh, it, for a moment I was just like, wait a minute, how are you alive? Gloom got his brain blasted. Blows up your plant with mind. And, uh, I, I guess blow up your sand slash with mind and, uh, cotton spore, I guess. Ah, critical hit! Nice. My Espeon is a god of damage. Glances at you. <laughs> he basically is blowing up people's minds. Dancing alone doesn't win any battles. Oh yeah, because he used Dragon Dance. Heh! <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Ooh, woo. I mean, I could try and bring Wendy out, but... <laughs> I feel like he's gonna get... She's gonna get nuked again. Okay, we're gonna give you the EXP share, Wendy, and we're gonna try you out this time. Friend Espeon is here, 
annihilate the bodybuilder. Now what compels someone like you to come here just for the sake of getting thrashed by me? Uh, that's not what it is. I didn't expect there to be repeat battles here. I was just coming to get to Mirror B's cave. He looks so happy. Probably gonna get annihilated. It's probably not even really gonna do anything. Cotton Mega Train, the the Cacnea. I mean, it's a cactus. It's... Why does that always happen to me now? I probably should have Mega Trained the little poison type bastard. We got twice now that it lives with one HP. I'm becoming fearful. <laughs> Wendy is so ready to die! Oh, yeah, they are. We'll use Swift to damage them both, and, uh... I guess Sleep Powder. Go see if I can. Why not? Get hit by stars. I'm, my brain gets really hyper-focused on certain strategies, so, like, when I saw that, like, tentacool, my brain went, Oh, Espeon can, like, one-shot that guy. So I didn't think, oh, I should let the grass-type smack it up. But at the same time, it's part poison, and apparently poison is super effective against grass, so... higgledy biggledy ho hi ha hi ha Mega Drain, I guess, if it even lives. So yeah, if you see me do an unoptimal play, it's because Brain saw a different play and didn't look two steps ahead. Brain looked at step one and thought, oh, this looks good. <laughs> Not realizing that there was a second option that was two steps ahead. You turned the tables on me! I have to look at the room again. Isn't there a broken table? Isn't there a broken table in here? No, oh, no, it's a door. It's a door? It looks like a door. Maybe it's just a shelf with a with a metal back. Are you gonna attack me again? Just cause, let's see, did, it, did people respawn in here too? Okay, good. Oh, I missed a document dial! I'm a fool! Obtained the Ein file. Ein file S. Shadow Pokemon. A shadow Pokemon is a Pokemon that has been made into a fighting machine. Oh wait, no, I think I already read this, so why did it respawn? Yeah, we'll read it anyway. Has been made to a fighting machine by artificially shutting the door to its heart. What we didn't know is that the shadow Pokemon exude a dark aura that can't normally be seen by the human eye. Okay, no, this seems different. Unfortunately, a girl with the ability to see this dark aura has been discovered. This is a major problem. The girl could become a huge obstacle for our Shadow Pokemon plan. A solution to this threat is urgently needed. Shadow Pokemon Lab, Chief Ein. Interesting. Are you gonna find me again? That was a whole lot of fun. Hey, did you come back to make me a happy battler again? Since we're already going through a bunch of reruns, why not? Oh yeah, I don't think I got your quillfish before, so maybe this is a chance to get that, even though I'm never going to use it. Unless it was a different quillfish that was Shadow. I forget. Nope, it's the same one. We shall annihilate your quillfish. Hmm. Eh, if we don't get it, we don't get it. Blast it with... Br Blows up Quillfish with Brain. Maybe I'll come back and like chip away at it with Swift, but... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm on a quest. Mega Drain! You didn't even kill it, Wendy.
Well, congratulations. Nobody here is electric type. Devours goldfish with synthesis. Not the actual move, but just like plant. Wendy, happy to murder or die. Goodbye, Goldeen. Didn't even close its eyes to die, just did. What is with today and... Nothing is electric. Why are you doing that? Why are you fool? But like... What was I gonna say? Look at that experience bar. Everything today has just been... 1% away from being done or dead, and the game just goes, <laughs> and punishes me for existence, it seems. That was fun! Uh, good for you, Doken. I'm happy that you're happy. Oh yeah, I love strong guys. Wait, I said love, but don't get any wrong ideas. I have two gay dogs, so I'm not one to judge. And we'll, like, fight occasional characters that are, like, to the side, but I don't think we'll clear the entire dungeon again. Again, we're heading towards the... what should be vacant Mirror B place. Then again, it is entirely possible that that one chatter I had was just like, I'm going to send them all the way through the dungeon again, now that all the people have respawned. That is entirely a thing that could just happen. Is it entirely likely? No, but it's certainly possible. And besides, this is decent enough, like, experience gathering. I don't know why I thought that would work. Like, why I thought it would be super effective. Brain is dumb sometimes. Oh no, not the Fury Swipes. Aha, you fool, you missed. You thought you were gonna be do duo part two? No, you failed. Go back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Be a villager. Who, like, betrays the, fr the, the main character, like, one time. Vaguely. Because of mob rule. What are you gonna do, little cap of grass man? You're gonna do fury swipes again. It's gonna... How many times will it hit? Wow. Five times? Lucky bastard. Now let's blast him with the power of love. Die. It's like a magical girl anime. It's like, through the power of love, and then it's like a horrific torture device that flays your skin from your brain. Oopsie, I lost. Again, for you are but fool. Wait, is that... Was that new dialogue where she said she's not going to tell us where Mirror B ran away? Hmm. Now the question is, who do I want to level up next? I guess we can go to Theodore. And then we'll plug the... Uh, buff up the XP share onto you, so that Theodore can... I really should just spam Surf with Theodore, because he has the, like, thing that increases water damage. Your Pokemon overwhelmed me the last time, but battles can turn on dumb luck! All right, some of them are beginning to acknowledge that I beat them once before. Ah, Caffeine and Gurlia. Again, if I didn't already have Espeon, I would love to go for a Guard of War. But I can't justify two Psychic types on a team. Not in a game that's actually kind of, uh, kind of pressuring me sometimes. Blows up your coughing with mind. Thank God that they don't have self-destruct in this game for some reason. 
Again, I pondered it the last time, I think. But I wonder, like, what the technical differences between, like, Pokemon Coliseum and, like, a normal Pokemon game are. Because, again, obviously, some Pokemon data has to be transferable between Coliseum and the actual games. So is it possible that, like, whatever engine that this is using stores that kind of data that can then be taken? I don't know. It's like... As somebody who knows very little about programming and coding, it's an interesting thing to ponder, because, like, they obviously are different engines between the handheld games of the time and, the con and this console game. Obviously different engines. So it's just kind of interesting to wonder. What kind of Nintendo power did they use to kind of connect to the games? Then again, they did it, like, with Pokemon Stadium back on the 64. Plug in a cart, it reads the data, transfers the data of the Pokemon to the game that you can use them. Goodbye, Shroomish. You are now dead. Was that dumb luck to you? Your Pokemon are too strong! Also, I just realized this guy has, like, spikes on his arms, because he's hip and cool with the kids. Raising your Pokemon to be those levels must have been hard. You might be our enemy, but you have my respect. How am I your enemy? You're just standing in a cave. At this point, I don't even think that you're a part of Mirror B's, like, dominate the world plan or whatever. I think you're just a dude. I forget, is this like the way to go or? My memory is terrible. I think this might be the, let me quickly, I think this is the dead end, yeah. Well, we'll fight you since we're here and then we'll move on. Yep, this is a no through street. We'll beat you up and then go the right way, I think. Ah, fear the low tad. His time bending abilities. Psybeam the low tad, then surf, because why not? Like I said, I should just spam surf unless bite is super effective on something. Lotad, you die. Goodbye. You know, I just realized, like, in the world, in, in this world today, surely there has to be, like, a, a mod that somebody's made for this game that just replaces Rui's asset with Espeon and Umbreon's sidecar asset. Like, that, that might actually be a thing, come to think of it. Depending how hard it would be to make a mod for a GameCube ROM. Blows up slack off with mind. But honestly, that would be kind of a funny one. Because again... It's very nice of them to actually program it in, like put the models in the sidecar. That did a lot more damage that time for some reason. What, is there a, a, a secret trick where if there's one Pokemon on the field, when you use a double move, it does more damage or something? I feel weird. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> but it's like a cul-de-sac, like I said. That's totally new dialogue. It's funny. Would be amusing that upon playing it through again, Mirror B is actually hiding in there. They'll never expect to find me hiding in the, the dead end. Hold it. Don't think you're going anywhere when you catch my eye. Well, to catch your eyes, I'm going to have to pluck them out and put them in a Pokeball. You said so. Uh, 
All right. We shall blow up Machop with mine. And you, sir, because we can. Again, it's so... It, it amuses me that so many things in this game have HM moves. Does that mean that HM moves are naturally learned in this country where HMs aren't some kind of super capitalistic move by the universe? And by universe, I mean, like, government? Oh, hey, this is going to work double well. Goodbye, camera up. You're going to die. Aw, oh, it didn't get washed away. <laughs> Seeing that huge model get washed away would have been hilarious. Not very effective. How dare. You're gonna focus energy, energy are ya? You're gonna focus all that energy? Psybeam him. And I guess bite his face off. It's the only thing that's really there. Oh yeah, and recently, while while I uh, walk through the dungeon again, I shall ramble. Recently, I read a isekai manga, as I want to do, because isekai is sometimes a lot of fun. It's, a lot of it is so samey, but at the same time... Oh, did he say a thing uh, about Mirror B? I missed it. I'm a fool. Yeah, isekai. A lot of the time kind of can be very samey. But man, can it also be fun. And I read this one, and it's just like, oh, I think I'm gonna like this. But for some reason, for like the third time in a row, like halfway through or something, I don't know, like it's still ongoing. It did. Oh wait, you, when'd you get a Jigglypuff? Just realized that. That Jigglypuff was not here last time. I guess congrats on replacing the Pokemon I stole from you. But... Yeah, um, it's like the third time that, like, an isekai manga and anime that I'm going through just decides to... Because it, it begins with this premise. For, like, the third time, it's like, oh, it begins with this premise. I like the premise. The premise is nice and fun. And then it gets to a certain point where it's like, and now we're going to pivot. And it's going to do it in an annoying way. And then my brain just goes into overdrive, like, how would I do this? How would I fix this abomination of a choice? It just keeps on happening. It keeps happening. I told you, dog. Blows up your jigglypuff with mind. You know, the more I play this game, the more I think that they did reuse a... Uh... God, that Cacnea is tiny! But the more I play this game, the more it definitely feels like they reuse animations from, uh, from the stadium games. But overall, I don't really mind too much. Because a lot of them are basic animations. Jesus fucking Christ. A lot of them are basic animations anyway. And a lot of them fit decently, like Jigglypuff flattening away. Because, like, it's similar to how with the Bethesda game, Fallout 76, where it has a giant flying enemy that reuses animation from dragons that was used in Skyrim. And I think some people... Like, uh, mocked Bethesda for that. They're like, aha, Bethesda reusing the giant flying monster animation. Which, I mean, why not? If you have a giant flying monster, and... Why wouldn't you, like, reuse a giant flying monster animation for another giant flying monster? Sure, it can be seen as lazy, but so long as it doesn't obviously look out of place, I think reusing animations from previously established things is perfectly fine. It's only when reused animations begin to look weird or wrong is when reusing animation is bad. 
Kind of like how uh, b -b -b a lot of asset flips just have bot, m like, animations. So, like, you might have different animations from different... Oh, two lombres. Are these low tats before and you level them up? Good for you. But, like, asset flip games probably have a bunch of animations from different asset packs. Just all over the place, so it doesn't mesh well. Whereas, this is just Pokemon animations being taken from one Pokemon game and being put into another. And, like, even though Pokemon Coliseum obviously doesn't have, like, I, I would say Pokemon Coliseum probably doesn't even have the same amount of Pokemon that Pokemon Emerald has in it. And I don't think that's that big of a deal. Like, that it reuses animation despite that, because it still has easily over a hundred Pokemon. And, like, back in the day... When this was made, I could totally see the Pokemon company going, you want to make a Pokemon game for console, but that's not like our... our wheelhouse. People expect Pokemon games on the Game Boy Advance. So, this game probably didn't have that much of a budget. Maybe. I'm gonna have to look that up, what the budget was for this, if it's out there. What have you done to my Pokemon, kid? You are like, accessory to crimes, at least. You're lucky I'm not... Is my age really going to arrive? Oh, he changed his dialogue again. Because before it was Mirror B's age. Maybe he wants to be the criminal emperor now. <laughs> huh? What would you two come back here for? Oh, I get it. You want to battle me that badly? I do like when they actually change the dialogue. That's a nice touch. Oh, hey, it did become a loud rip. Huzzah. But yeah, as I was saying, it, I assume that this... Hmm, that makes me wonder, like, what the budget of, like, Pokemon Emerald, or, like, I guess what the budget of Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald all combined is. I wonder what that was, as well as, then compared to this, what this game's budget was. Because, again, it obviously reuses animations from Stadium. Well, Stadium, Stadium 2 and such. So, I guess it would be reusing animations from Stadium if it was reusing from Stadium 2 as well. So, it would just be interesting to know how much that the Pokemon... How much the Pokemon Company would want to put into this game. Good job, you broke through the confusion. Good job. Goodbye, Loudred. And that basically did nothing, but I wanted to throw the Oh wait, I want him. That makes him wonder. Would Swift because it's technically 100 percent accuracy, but I guess it depends on if it actually launches the attack or not. Will this go through? Darn it. Steel is, Steel is such a weird typing at this point in the series. You bitch! Don't hit my dog. I guess I'll focus down on Lombre and Lamy can focus down on the Matang. God dang it. I mean, you took out the, the Loudred before. And goodbye, Matang, again. The Metagross line in this game just, just flips out when it faints, or gets hit at all. Not Waterfall! Why are you going up? Oh yeah, because that's what... Why are you using Water... Why does Waterfall make him go up? Because it's an HM move, and that's what the HM move is supposed to do. Blast the Lombre. Electrocutes your Lombre with mind. You know, if they did summon 
You know, I just realized, I wonder if I could just break it out of confusion by calling its name, but I, I don't think I tried ever, because I am a fool. Good job, we beat you. No, this is an ugly pattern. He's beginning to realize that he is an NPC in a video game. I'll get you. Next time I'll run you a battle that will knock your socks off. Eh, you can try. Let's see. Uh, guess we'll swap in Windy, but we're going to go and heal Espeon. Maybe swap in Umbreon. But just in case we run into a super tough battle, I want all my Pokemon to be battle ready. I don't know why I expect the stairs to be there. Heal up my Pokemon. You know, if healing devices are that easy to use in this game, why do they even need Nurse Joys? Then again, these are criminal ones, I suppose, and not official Pokemon Center ones. So, Wes, continuing to be a criminal because he's uh, using a Pokemon Center device unlicensed. Let's see, I forget. Oh yeah, this is the way. I should go and save now that I'm here. Because again, I was told last stream by a chatter that there is something in that cave now. After you run off Mirror B, something in there comes along. And they said after I beat Mount Battle that I should be able to take it on, whatever it is. So we are going to see. We spent basically an hour backtracking in the cave. Honestly, I would be highly amused if this was just a big troll and there was nothing there. I would honestly respect it. Hey, I got leveling in and didn't have to go through Mount Battle's inevitable death squad. Because I hear Mount Battle is where you typically do grinding in this game. Well, there's somebody here. Yeah, it's one of the... Why is his helmet like a Pokemon ball? Pokemon ball? Pokeball. So it's one of the... The leaders. Because I think we've battled... I don't think we've battled you. Hello there. I'm Miracle B. I'm Mira B's rightful successor. Going to get me an afro. <laughs> it has a shitty remix. <laughs> that that out of tune beginning. This out of tune everything. <laughs> didn't expect him to say, I'm going to get an afro, but th this music! <laughs> Mew indeed. Yeah, I see you found the second best part of the whole game. <laughs> yeah, I was told last stream that after you beat Mirror B, something spawns in here, so... I was honestly half expecting it to be a troll. This music, man! <laughs> My brain is just not functioning right now. I'm just in a constant state of what? That's all it is! <laughs> 
<laughs> it sure does spawn here. That's the whole point. Yeah, we're gonna have to replace Windy. <laughs> Windy is just poor and sad. <laughs> the music. The music is just grand. <laughs> It's meant to make you lose brain cells, so you lose easier. I could believe that! Is that Lanoon gonna dis destroy my poor Windy? I'm half expecting. <laughs> the only thing that would have made it better is if they animated the peon horribly dancing that is the or at least like at the beginning of the match Regal. <laughs> I wonder how hard it was to make the out of tune remix <laughs> that's my pitched laugh It went two confusions in a row without getting smacked upside its own head. The game is betraying me. He should have tried to copy Mirror B, but badly. That would have been the cherry on the top of this encounter. But overall, this is still pretty good. <laughs> this is really good. Oh, hey, first time I've seen a Seeking. God, those lips. If I one-shot that Sea King, that would have been amazing. But... This is so good! This is just a fanboy with some kickin' tunes! It's like if he he hung around Mirror B and tried to recreate Mirror B's theme. And he wasn't prepared for us. He hadn't completed the theme yet. This is just a beta version of his plagiarized mixtape. He even has a pseudo wudo! He even copied Mirror B's pseudo wudo! If it was a if it was a shadow pseudo pseudo wudo, uh, that honestly would have been amazing. Want to know a random fun fact about this fight? Sure. <laughs> I'm down for more information of, of this poor little man. <gasps> That's why his, his helmet's like that. He's trying to grow the same kind of afro. That's not a helmet. That's his hair. <laughs> what? You have self-destruct! I thought they didn't have that move. What a jerk! I thought they didn't have that move! If <laughs> All of his Pokemon no flail except for Electrode. My dreams! You've ruined my dreams of getting an Afro! That's the first time anybody's ever taken down two of my Pokemon. And it's because he had self-destruct. That's the first time I've seen it. Why did the electrode not explode? But the pseudo wudo did. <laughs> it's like there's a there's a there's a creature that looks like a bomb, and you're constantly like, oh, I need to be careful of that bomb. You walk up to the tree, and it explodes. What? Darn! I don't care if no one agrees. I'm still the rightful heir to Mirror B. Even though my hair hasn't grown to a full afro do. <laughs> Alrighty then! Honestly, if there was a mine in here dancing, because he was like, Mirror B put a plusel here, I'm gonna put a mine in here! Just little things that would have put it to 110%. <laughs> okay, but that was grand. That was glorious. I'm happy that chatter told me. That, that existed. 
because that was very good. I forgot. It's not here. It's at the different stairs. Because, yeah, he's wearing yellow clothes. He... I thought it was a helmet, but no, it was red and white hair, just like Mirror B. Flail because he tries so hard to copy Mirror B, but his dance moves just look like it's flailing around. <laughs> they must have had real fun making this game. Because that's just so good. That's just so good. That's just so glorious. <laughs> Well, with that, with that done, I can either go to the creepy, shady lab, or try the first town's coliseum. I don't know what you do. If they made Mirror B, then they can definitely have fun with this game. That's true. It's just amazing that Mirror B was their first... Like, the first boss. And then, like, Pokemon Hulk, who's kind of a precursor to that Generation 5 champion. With his, like, Pokeball necklace. Meh. Knocked my mic. But, like, yeah, Pokeball necklace and, like, tribal-ish inspiration. Yeah, Alder. I keep forgetting his name. All I remember is that it's like, oh yeah, he's the champion, but he's bad of computers, so he just carries all his Pokemon with him at all times. And then when you go to fight, uh, free up the the mountain battle because the Shadow Pokemon dudes have gone to fight there, you'll run into a dude that's like a precursor to Alder, who just fucking drop kicks a guy. He's like, I'm not gonna fight you. Kicks him in chest. Because it shouldn't be that bad, we're gonna try Finax City's Coliseum, just to see. And then we're probably gonna swap Wendy out and uh, bring out Ms. Magius, I suppose. If it's just because poor, poor Wendy, just not doing lots of damage and is taking lots of damage, just not very good. You also saw how far Dokken jumped, right? Yeah. That's why one chatter called him the Pokemon... Ba ba ba, the Pokemon... I said it, and I'm already lost my mind. The Pokemon, uh, Hulk. Incredible Hulk. He's like, I'm gonna leap away through the power of my legs. Like, if there are people like that in the Pokemon universe... This world is scary. Hello, welcome to the FedEx Stadium. Would you like to enter? Sure. I have the Pokemon on me that I will use. I hope to get oh you give it your best shot and go for victory. Oh, I will. Oh, I actually need to walk through the doors. For some reason I thought we'd just go. We didn't have much issue with Pyrite Coliseum. Again, I like the water. The water is so simple, it's basically just like a tinted texture with animation on top of it, but I like it. We're going to annihilate this rich kid. I love this knockout challenge! It really pumps me up! We are going to pump you up! And then drown you in the lake! Why do you have level 40 baby Pokemon? You know what? I don't want the answer. I don't I don't want to know. I'm just going to murder you here and now. Blast away. Blows up baby Pokémon with mind. Well, I guess they're not really baby Pokémon. The other one is unevolved form. And it will never evolve now. Critical hit! Umbreon devoured your Pokemon. Only 70 experience. So, and you only had two. Why are you here? I, 
I got knocked out. How did you have? Why do you only have two Pokemon that are level 40, unevolved, and you're coming into the knockout rounds? What's wrong with this child? Also, I just realized, what is that orb in the ceiling? I feel like that's a safety hazard. I've never seen you around here before, big guy, but so what? Let's battle! Roller Boy Greb. What is with these names? Roller Boy Greb. Who would name their child Greb? It's like... I'm going to name him Greg, and then they just fucked up the second G. Are you going to survive with one HP? Good. And I was going to say before I got distracted by the giant orb in the ceiling, but unlike Pyrite Coliseum, this place actually has a uh, good banners. The banners are full and not flowing, but they're not tattered. Every single time I see that do duo animation now, I'm just half expecting it to just flip me off. <laughs> Again, it's just, uh-uh-uh, that's not the magic word. Uh-uh-uh, uh-uh-uh. What do you gotta say, Greb? Ah, I lost! You did. Now drown yourself for your sins. Semi final! Again, that's like energy, power, or water. Maybe both. Uh, why are you dead? Why are you running in place? You gotta. It must be my turn! I'm going to try hard! Why did- why does she have an animation? Jog in place before throw out Pokemon. Do you also only have two Pokemon? Why am I allowed to bring in six? <laughs> am I just a jerk coming in to like a casual elimination round tournament, and I'm going try hard, I throw out Entei on some poor child, and they just go, dude, what the fuck? <coughs> Alright, uh, we gotta get rid of that Pineco, because it's biting its power. We need to not give it a chance. <laughs> If we do, it's gonna bite up a bunch of power, then get a crit. I still find it impressive that they made a Pokemon out of a pine cone. And it doesn't look half bad. Goodbye, Psyduck. Ah, Theodore leveled up. Good for you. And is trying to learn Slash. Let's see. Let's look at your moves. What's, what's Slash? 70 power. Has high critical hit ratio. We're not getting rid of Surf. Uh, not getting rid of Bite. Scary Face. Sharply reduces speed. Hmm. But all that really does is make it so that I spend a turn to hopefully go first... So I'm not sure how good that is. Rain Dance. Boost the power of water type moves for five turns. We're keeping that, so... I'm gonna say goodbye, Scary Face. That way we have a... Like, not bad option for, like, normal damage, just in case. I am not one for strategy when it comes to, like, setting up moves. It's kind of the, why use two turns to do one move when I can use two moves kind of thing. I'll have to try harder next time. Again, everybody just has a mental breakdown when I win. I almost want to see, like, Wes have a mental breakdown when he loses. <laughs> he brings out a detonator. <laughs> now that you won, I cannot allow you.
Oh, are you tense? Rune. Cool trainer. Why is it playing ominous music? I heard you like mudkips. Yeah, why is it playing ominous music? What, is he gonna throw out Rayquaza at me? He does have three Pokemon. What is with this low-key, ominous music? That's kind of building up. And again, Zubat just looks like an utter gremlin in this game. I forget who I told Umbreon to attack, so I gotta reorder the command. Again, what is with this theme? It's just like... It's setting me, it's making me tense! It is firing up my anxiety! No, it's just a Cacnea. What is with this theme? <laughs> what is it like this? Oh, we killed the Mudkip. Sadness. Blows up Cactus with mind. Uh, hallucinates everybody in the stadium. Coliseum. That theme for the finals is so weird. Oh, you are only pretending to be tense. Again. What was... <laughs> That soundtrack. Congratulations, you're the champion. Your battles are fantastic. The victory means you've won the 5,912 Pokey Dollar Cash Prize. And as champion prize, you have also won a TM that I'm, like, never going to use. Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't I, like, looking at a TM last time I played? And I'm like, oh, maybe I should use that. And I just haven't. But yeah, I'm, my brain is now going to focus, like, hyper-focus on that, the weird decision to make the final theme of the Fenex Stadium so tense. No news on the news? What about you? Ah, it's you two. I've heard there's supposedly a criminal syndicate that is seeking world domination. I'll continue with our investigation. You can count on us. Like, we've made three progresses since you said you were going to do that, and you just haven't. And again, that Final Fantasy anime final boss-looking motherfucker left your home. I am I'm going to half, half assume that you are the anime boss now. Because you're just here doing nothing. Oh, wait, I forgot we were going to go to the Pokemon Center and sadly swap out Wendy because... Just, Wendy, sorry, you're just not doing all that well. Even when you have, like, a, I think, type advantage. Have we ever set Wendy up to actually have type advantage? Still, sorry, Wendy. You shall be deposited. And we could get a fighting type. Meh. Like, maybe a rock type? Hmm. But I think we're just going to use Ms. Magius. We're going to have to uh, throw Ms. Magius out a lot to quickly break them out of being a shadow Pokemon. Hmm. As well as eventually put the well, you know what, since we're primarily going to be... Oh wait, it doesn't matter. I was like, oh wait, then again. I keep going back and forth because I'm a fool. Because I was told... That... Shadow Pokemon still... 
Uh, my bad. I need to take it. That Shadow Pokemon still have, like, acquire experience. And then they get that experience after being purified. Again, deposit feels like it should be the same thing as give, and my brain is just like, ah, yeah, put in experience share. Because brain is dumb. But yeah, since there's, like, no other Pokemon that I'm really interested in, plus... I'm trying to make a balance of I like this po I want to use this Pokemon and type advantage stuff. So I guess just in case we're going to go to Pyrite Town, we're going to save and then we're going to talk to the magic lady, the fortune teller, just in case cuz why not. Oh hey, new stuff. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Chief, but there's big news! Yes, see, Chief, there's talk that there's a mysterious syndicate poised to take over the world! Huh? Chief? You're not the Chief. I beg your pardon! I'm here, Johnson. That story isn't new. Why are your, all of your reports so out of date all the time? Oh, oh, oh Chief, there you are. You're such a kidder. <laughs> I reckon that Mirror B was sent by that mysterious organization in the first place. If my guess is true, there ought to be more of his kind. If I hear anything on my end, I'll surely let you know. You're Neon, right? What's your PDA number? Okay, got it. You take care. Double good for me to come in and do that. And like, obviously our previous boss is going to have to, like, come in and be a thing eventually. <laughs> It'd be kind of amusing if it turned out that he was, like, the main guy all along. Hey, fortune teller. I see, I see it. Deep under the ground, a swirling black cloud. I see it clearly. That black whirlpool of smoke is a new enemy. Go with caution. This one won't be easy. Well. Now on to, I assume, the myster mystery laboratory. Let us say... How think... It's been a bit since I got email. Mere peon nabbed. Neon, it's Shuros. We've just apprehended a pair of thugs we believe to be Mere B's underlings. We may be able to lean on them for information. We have them locked up, so hurry over to Pyrite. Well, I guess we wouldn't be able to do anything here anyway. There's a key slot. Uh. The disc for moving the. The disc for moving the UFO forward! What? <laughs> what do you mean, the disc for moving the UFO forward? So it's a good thing that I went and checked up with Shirls, because, like, I wouldn't have gotten that. <laughs> I would be stuck running around. Hmm. Those suspects we arrested haven't spilled any beans. Not a thing! I reckon they're afraid of payback from their organization. I'll be in touch with you just as soon as I hear anything. Listen, listen! Chief Sherls and I, we caught two more suspects! They came back to that creaky old building and we nabbed them on the spot! <laughs> huh? You went and checked out the lab? <laughs> what could it be? I don't have a clue about what's going on at the lab. They said there'll be some new prisoners, so they split me and Folly up. But you know, the guy in the next cell, those voices sound familiar. Oh, hey! Ah, it's you! I, get away from me! Eh, why not? Hello, fools. My elevator going down. There's a key of some sort on her belt. Take. So I needed the jail key all this time. Hmm. 
Not a thing. I reckon they're afraid of payback. I'll be in touch as soon as I hear anything. Except you won't hear anything. Very interesting. Again, like, I would not have, like, found this out if I hadn't come back just to save here randomly on a whim. I'm just like, I'm gonna save at Pyrite Town! And then bam, and now we have the elevator key. Well, let's hope there's not, like, level 60 Pokémon down there. And hey, we can go and... Save there, too. I swear if you reset. YOU RESET AGAIN?! What? What made you guys reset? Genuinely. What made you reset? I guess we'll blast down the Taylo just to get it out of here. Get out of here! One hit this time. Okay, sure. And, well, I guess that's good for, like, blasting away your issue. Mystery, this is in hyper mode. We don't want hyper mode. Mistrivus! Snap out of it! Soy beam! Maybe I should try... Never mind. You swift! How could it miss? It's always accurate. You jerk. And are you swift because I am a fool? My cheekiness has come to murder me. Unless you manage to kill it with this. Figure not. If you fly up, I'm going to swap Mistrevis out. Like I said, I'm swapping Mistrevis out. <laughs> Fuck you. How dare you, you big old jerk, you. I love the animation for Reflect in this game. It's so cool. Haha, <laughs> idiot. You hit my tank. And now I'm gonna swap in Mistrevis just because I can to mock you. And we'll smack you for turn. Blast away! Schmeck! That's what you get for abusing Fly. Too strong! I should throw you down the elevator shaft. Why did they reset so quickly? It's like I come in here... Five seconds, I like, mm, I forgot my milk. Go back in, they're immediately ready to murder. I mean, there are two health stations in here that are just perpetual and always. Hmm. I'm going to fight one up here to see how fast I can get Mischievous down. If I can get Mischievous's shadow status b broken very quickly. I'm gonna purify them, then go down there. Because I don't want to leave the elevator dungeon unnecessarily. Now let's hope that you go into uh, shadow mode. Or not shadow mode, hyper mode. Get blasted. Darn, it lived. How dare. 
Ah, you entered hyper mode. Good. Now survive. Not swaff, eh? You bastard. Mischievous is in hyper mode. And I, I guess we'll suffer the rough skin of the bastard. And it killed him. Yay! I ganged expands. Barbuch. Who are you gonna hit of dig? You jerk. Ba 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 ba. Again, I, I, I <laughs> the moment I go, I'm enjoying the music. My brain immediately went, "Hey, remember how weird the final music for the Shinak Coliseum was?" It is still very weird. Mistrebus! So we are averaging, like, one bar a fight. You are a jerk. But I did it again, I'm but a fool. I wanted to go for a uh, for a diddly dee. It doesn't affect Mistrevis. I'm experiencing it now. The classic. Get psi beamed, idiot. Yeah, this, it's just very impressive how fast these guys reset. Again, we're going to come back here, heal, I guess fight the one guarding the elevator. Although I guess I can kind of grind it if I do it properly. Well, grind for hyper mode, really. It might be off limits, but I have the key. So I must annihilate you. Ba bum ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. All right, we'll shadow rush the Vibrava. Man, then we'll try to farm for hyper mode. Get shadow rushed. This is the fourth time that something has gotten down to just a pixel of a bar. Granted, four times in an hour and a half ain't bad, but still. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 wrong ba 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 that's the wrong thing I want to use reflect because why not and of course you're not going to go into hyper mode now goodbye vibrava And now the elephant is bullying my dog. How rude. I'm gonna mean look you and reflect again. But it failed. Ah, I like the effect in it. Why do we have that? I guess to stop. Can enemies even swap out their Pokemon? I haven't seen that yet. I guess Confuse Ray just cause we can reflect. 
I guess I could be using Swift. Again, the one time I would like a hyper mode. <laughs> when I was actually using Shadow Pokemon in battle, the game was like, ah, oh, we're not gonna do that to you. <laughs> no, when I was actually using the Shadow Pokemon in battle, the game was being like, ah, oh, we can't let you do that hyper mode. Here, have some crits. But at the cost of a turn, I was constantly calling out to them through hyper mode. The one time I won a farm hyper mode, the game was like, no. No hyper mode for you. It's like the game knows. And it somehow is accessing the microphone. In the other room, there's a Nintendo engineer hacking the game with their mind. Pop. This didn't happen. That's the third time you said that. Now we're gonna go and heal our Pokemon. And then search for, like, maybe one more fight. Because, again, I have to go back to Agate Village to purify my Pokemon. Which means that I want to de-shadowify Miss Drevis before we go down that elevator. Because knowing my luck, that elevator is going to lock down the moment it touches down. Remoraid and Magnemite. Well, at least Shadow Rush is going to come in handy here. Your steel typing means nothing to me. I have the ability of shadows. Blows up fish with mind. Remoraid is like a... I also just realized Remoraid has teeth. Fangs, but still. Magnemite is a monster. You bastard. Confuse the bastard. Eat his soul. It's made of metal, it's a machine, but it still has a soul that we can eat. Again, the game knows. It knows what I'm doing. It knows what I want. It's not gonna give it to me. Get obliterated, idiot. Gonna fish for one hyper mode. And then it got a crit. The game is opposing my grinding, it seems. Level up for Espeon. Hmm. It said abnormality detected in friendly Pokemon. Again, this place is full of crazies. And just because... Level up, let's swap in Umbreon. Umbreon needs some experience and love as well. Now let's go and beat up some fools, because we have to free Miss Drevis before we go down. Here I thought it would be nice and quick. Then it stopped giving me the goddamn... Hyper Mode. I swear if you somehow got self-destruct since I was last here, I'll be very bothered. Not the shock wave. Ah, you finally entered hyper mode. Exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> this is exactly what we're looking for. Just 
Don't knock it out in one go. The game <laughs> was trying that exactly. And now you're probably gonna faint. Because the game's focusing them down for some reason. Why would you focus down poor Ms. Drevis? Well, that's... That's kind of dark. They stole the soul. Why did I send out a water type to a electric party? I am a fool. I'm like, oh, it's been a bit since I used Theodore. I should throw him out. Theodore prepares for death. Surf and uh, nom on the electric dog. I still understand why Voltorb's attack animation is so, like, camera shaky. Maybe I should have been. Maybe I need to use Theodore more often. Surf is, an, is a monster of a move. Goodbye. Ba ba. And now I have to go heal up again. And keep fishing for just enough of a hyper mode to free Mistrevis. Just enough. <coughs> if I got at least one hyper mode each fight, I think we'd be done. But the game's been withholding hyper mode like a jerk. At least there's one guy left on this floor. Let's see if we need to go to the second floor. Well, I guess third floor. Because first floor is, like, the floor that's base level. Whoopa! Wingo! They have come for murder! So yeah, if we get a hyper mode, I think Mistrevis is free! For some reason, that reminds me of Tear of Grace's playthrough of the Golem game. Lord of the Rings Golem. In which, at one point, he read a Steam review. That was just like, Fall into the water! Dald! Golem is free! I guess Shadow Ball, because we have Shadow Ball now. Get... Get mad. Combustible lemons. Damn it. Again, game is withholding. The thing. Give me that hyper mode. Come on, you, wanna, you know you want to give me the hyper mode. Hyper mode, hyper mode, hyper mode, hyper mode. Either that or faint mischievous. Hyper mode, hyper mode. Damn it! Is it really that much of a bother to give me one hyper mode? Now, let's quickly check. You're still just a little bit away. Just a little bit away. Then we shall go. Because just throwing in Mistrevis should win us the day. Ba, 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 
So yeah. And it does look indeed uh, that Miss Dravis is free and also probably gonna die. But at least we can now heal them and take them to Agate Village, of which then they'll be free. Let me guess, you're going for Miss Dravis? No, you're going for Umbreon. Maybe Comet Punch doesn't work on Miss Dravis. And this NPC is smart enough not to do it. Never mind, I'll probably go after Miss Dravis, eh? Knew it. One of them would. And we'll throw Theodore in to surf him to death. Surfing time! Surfing time! You can poke and prod all you want, you are soon going to die for your insolence. You killed my ghost! Ba -ba -ba. Again, that water would just annihilate this building. Critical hit! Not the Swablu. Hello, hello. We are just about wrapping up, saving our poor Miss Trevis from shadow life. Before we go down the elevator of doom. Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Because I had to give up my jump pluff to the, the computer system. Because they just were taking too much damage and not doing that much damage. And I already have Lammy. I forget what it's like evolved form is, but it evolved from Flaffy. So it was already a, a decent enough thing, like type coverage there. So we're going for Mr. Rebus, just because we can. Again, Furligator is just so big in this game. It's like a Godzilla suit as a living thing. Again, I just find it hilarious that these guys just instantly were ready to go again the moment I leave this building. I don't know if it's like I got to the next story trigger and the game is like, <gasps> send in the damn the dancing trainers. Now off to Agate Village we go to purify Miss Dravis, so that we can have her leveling up as we go through the next dungeon. It's kind of interesting that like the game through throws in the lab as a new location after you beat Mount Battle. And then immediately is like, nope, you go back to Pyrite Village. Not village, well, Pyrite whatever. Well, are you a village? Pyrite Town. I wonder what the difference between a town and a village is. A village is probably smaller. And town is a bit bigger, but not super duper. The guitar instrument in this theme reminds me of Ocarina of Time. And I swear to God, Ms. Trevis, if you have, like, a pixel of shadow left that I didn't notice, and the game's like, you can't do it. I'm gonna be so sad. Up, nope, it is! Time for Ms. Trevis to become alive! Ms. Trevis is free! Breaking the move, Psybeam! And elevated to level 31. And level 32. Obtained a ribbon! 
What should we call you? It jumped to my mind, so we are going to call you... Bianca. I usually go with vibes and off the top of my head when it comes to naming Pokemon. Now my brain just went with a horrifying thought. What if a twist later in the game is Espeon and Umbreon get stolen from me and they be, be turned into shadow Pokemon that I have to fight and capture? That'd be horrifying. But now we're gonna move along back to Pyrite. So we can go down that elevator. And I swear to God, if that one elevator guarding lady is back up and running, ready to fight, I'm gonna be angry. I do enjoy the music of this game. I don't understand the Finac Coliseum f final battle theme. That one still haunts me for being how just how weird it is. No, don't. I just want heals. Hey, <laughs> why did they respond so quickly? <laughs> so this kind of is Pokemon Dark Souls. You leave the immediate area, they come back with a vengeance. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Okay, we have to beat up two of these fools. Right, let's focus down you, just so we can. Why does that Talo do so much damage? Oh, it doesn't affect Noctowl. Why did I think it would? Because I thought it was a dark type, I think. My brain is dumb when it comes to typings. When it comes to typing, my brain is just like, oh yeah. That's how this should work. I'm a big old dum-dum sometimes when it comes to typings. I'm like Shadow Ball. Go. I mix up like dark ghost. Mix up when they do good and when they do bad. Miss Taylor doesn't even... I thought you were going to live a bit longer. Goodbye, Talo. And let me guess, you're gonna shuffle into the world of, uh... Doing the, the fly and being annoying, aren't you? I'm gonna confuse you. And then I guess I'll faint attack, cause why not? Mix it up. Become confused, Noctowl. Become confused. You try to fly, you bash yourself into one of the, uh, the exposed Reba. Also, holy shit, that Noctowl is the size of the child. I guess hit it with Psybeam just for the giggles. Just cause we can, Psybeam. Why is this Noctowl a tank? And plus, if we bite it constantly, it has to do the flinch check, and then do the confusion check. And then it still flew up high, because it's a bastard! Fine, I'm gonna throw in- who should I throw in? I'm gonna throw in Lammy. So we can nuke you out of the sky the moment you fucking land. Go, Lammy! Secret power. Uh, how dare you snap out of your confusion while you're in the sky? That's like the least likely place for that to be. And now you're paralyzed and might not move. Die. Get blasted, idiot. Thunderbolt. Now that's a sight. A paralyzed owl looking up as the dinosaur of electricity looks down and prepares to blast him to death. Please, I just have one HP! Die.
Now we have to heal, then we can save. Fight the elevator lady again! You didn't see this a fourth time. And now we can go into... Well, again, we have to fight the elevator lady. Then we can go into the underground. Unless I can sneak by. Damn it, I cannot. <laughs> I can I can sneak by her! Uh, but we should fight her just because. Unless you're the only one that doesn't gonna remaster me. But we shouldn't be skipping battles. We should be getting experience where we can. I only skip battles in games that really annoy me. Where I, either if the combat is bad and annoying, or if I'm just done with the game in general and want it to end. This is like the fifth time now that something has gotten to the very end of the bar and just was pixel. Blows up elephant with ghost mind. I wonder, I wonder who's more annoyed by this, me or the NPCs? I walk in through the door and they're like, no, it's him again. We're all doomed. The mean man with the weird cheer girl is back. Okay, the effects for Shadow Ball is so cool. The effects there are so good. And that's why I like to have Pokemon out with the experience share on. Super power level upping, yes. How does a... Well, a bug bite. <laughs> I was gonna be like, how does a bug bite? You know, that's a thing that bugs do. Such a cool effect. It's so cool. For some reason, this makes me want to go play Pokemon Legends Arceus. And also makes me want a Pokemon Legends, like, sequel. Not, like, basically another game that's kind of similar to Legends Arceus. Character gets thrown to a region's past. Or maybe just an ancient region that we haven't been to or something. Ooh, Pokey Atlantis! Let's go to Pokey Atlantis! Oink. Yeah, like, another Pokemon Legends game, or a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, I am down for them both. Although, again, I, I'm one of those people that'd be like, I kind of want a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game that's, like, set in the world, but isn't Mystery Dungeon in gameplay. Which some people might see as sacrilege. Oh, I'm... I guess we're leaving Rui! Bye, Rui! <laughs> You're gonna teleport- yep! Magical Rui! Hello, you gonna fight me immediately? You're not. Uh-huh. Welcome to the under- oh yeah, they mentioned that! Whoa, wait a second, it's been a long time since anyone has come down here! I thought she was gonna attack me. What's with the creepy piano music? Lady Venus is very cautious. Except for her TV appearances, she's rarely seen. Alright, this is some bopping music. It's just like a whole city. You're a trainer, aren't you? Did you come to enter a Coliseum challenge? Yes. Hmm, I don't mean any offense, but you don't exactly look tough. I'll test to see how well you can battle. Let's see the level, like, average of the under, then. Ooh, Skitty, an Oddish! The guard to this place had better levels. Okie dokie. Hey, Miss Trivis, we, <laughs> we, we picked the right time to s sub you in. 
blows up Oddish with mind. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Who are you going to send out? Jigglypuff! Jigglypuff. I wonder why they chose to make Jigglypuff a, like, recurring character in the anime. They're like, we're gonna make a Jigglypuff that fucking hates it if you <laughs> fall asleep to its sing. It's also nice to see Skitty here, even if Skitty just has to die and that's kind of wonky animation. But at the same time, it's just like, th it's like three polygons. You can't blame them too much. Oh, hey, it's a shopping. Psybeam blah blows up Jigglypuff with mind. Ba 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 ba. I forget. Is Ghost good against Psychic? Yeah, let's try it anyway. Yeah, why not try it? Let's see. That's just normal. And now the shepherd will die anyway. <laughs> Get bite, idiot. It's kind of cool to see more Pokemon, like, in 3D. Especially because I haven't played that many of, like, the 3D generations just yet. It's just kind of novel to see. These Pokemon back in the early days of the Pokemon 3. <laughs> defense curl, defense curl. <laughs> Basically gets one shot by bite. You fool! You're better than you look. I am literally an ex criminal. You are strong. I guess there's no judging people by their appearance. And just a vending machine. Which drink would you like? Restores 50, 60, and 80. I'll buy one of each just in case because I remember Generation 1. And now my paranoia activates. Considering that the vending machine is placed all the way back here... I kind of wonder if it's actually going to be important. Well, you're probably going to fight. Oh, no, it's just going to show me the overview of this entire place and look at screen, I guess. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's time for the undertime again today. Without further ado, let's bring out that special someone we've all been waiting for. Lady Venus, please. I don't know why, but you look weird. Like you're not real. Hi everyone, it's me, your Venus. Everyone's Venus, that's me. I have something terribly important to share with you today. It's horrid. There are spies right here in the under. Can you imagine? We don't really know all the details, but if you see anyone suspicious, please let us know. Everyone, please, I'm counting on you. We need you to get lots of information for us. And that was Lady Venus, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you for watching. Please do turn in, tune in again. What a waste of a giant screen. No way. You know that we came here already? Neon, we're going to have to be cautious. Well, by immediately getting into a fight. Oh, no. The spies that snuck into the under. It's gotta be you. Am I right or am I right? Yes. Hmm, if you're really spies, you wouldn't admit it that you are, would you? <laughs> Let's see, no, then. No! You're right, you don't look like spies to me. Nope, never mind, it's just... <laughs> Damned if you do, well, I guess, blessed if you do, blessed if you don't. I was thinking, that guy next to me browsing, I think he's a spy. Shh, don't stare at the guy. That kid next to me keeps checking me out. It's distracting. Am I that cool or what? <laughs> the people of the under don't seem that very intelligent. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Pokemart is just like... I'm here to sell shit. I need to buy more Hyper Potions, just in case. You can just buy TMs. 
Oh, freeze is a status effect in this? And it doesn't even tell me what the moves are. It's like it expects me to know. A powerful attack that may burn the target. Creates a wall of light. Strikes the target with Thunderbolt. Well, I mean, that's obviously Thunderbolt. <laughs> Prevents status abnormality with mystical power. Negates all damage but may fail if used in succession. Creates a wall of light. Powerful but needs recharging. Vicious snow attack. Interesting. I guess I'll buy a few more revives. I doubt I'm ever going to use the revives. Hmm, full heal. Hmm, heal status effects. Should I get some? I have three. I guess I'll buy three more just to be safe and cover all my bases. Nah, screw it. Let's buy more hyper potions. Paranoia, paranoia. And I think I should be good on Pokeballs. It's kind of weird that, like, only one place in the entire universe sells Pokeballs in this game. Do you have time to hear an old man's tale? There once was a man who made a fortune in the mines of the Under. Where he ended up, I don't know. I only hope he used his vast wealth for doing good. Are we gonna run into that person? Lady Venus is the Under's... No, she's my idol! For Lady Venus, I could do anything! But even though I'm so near to her, I've not seen even a glimpse of her in person. Oh, it hurts so deeply! Lady Venus! Is this entire place just a bunch of idiot cult members? I'm getting that vibe. Oh, hey, it's the UFO! <laughs> if it's the Coliseum that you're waiting to go to, you can ride that UFO there. You do have the operating discs, right? I think so. Well, all right, there's no problem, is there? I'm gonna talk to him again to say no, just to get information. You haven't got any? Now, hold on, you two aren't uh, them spies now, are you? There's no getting into the Coliseum if you can't drive that UFO. Interesting, because I do have one UFO item. Because, like, the disc for moving the UFO forward, you need three UFO discs. I, or four UFO discs, probably for... Because that's the F1, there's probably an L1. Why is there dripping poison? So there's a Pokemon Center and other things. Did you hear? The Cypher admin named Dakim was beaten down! That's the second admin to go down after Mirror B! The enemy must be pretty strong. Am I- are, is the entire under my enemy? Okay, I got three more Hyper Potions. Interesting. Hello, welcome to the Underground Hotel. It's a thousand P a night. Jesus. Why is it a thousand? The Pyrite Grand Hotel is just one hundred. Not a thousand. Oh, my bad. Okay, game. Would you like to save? Yes. Overwrite, yes, because I was locked in a loop where I thought I was clicking yes on the right thing. What? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's time for the undertime again. Lady Venus, please. Hi, everyone. It's me, your Venus. Everyone's Venus. That's me. I'm very disappointed. The spies haven't been caught yet. Can you imagine? Everyone, please. I'm counting on you for more cooperation. I don't like this program. Okay, so here's the plan. If I spot a spy, what I'll do is clear the area, then shout really loudly to startle the spy. While the spy's startled, you jump him and subdue him. How's that for a plan? Huh? What do you two want? We're having an important chat here. Leave us alone, you hear? <laughs> My partner's the brains of us two. His plans always work. But you know, I always seem to be the one getting hurt all the time. I find Venus repugnant. I can't stand that type of cheap coyness in anyone. What is with that I'm your Venus shtick? It's revolting. Oh, she's my Venus. Interesting. So not everybody down here likes her. Hey, spies! I see spies! Spies! Oh, wait. That can't be right. Real spies would look much stronger. Sorry, my mistake. I've been insulted. The winner of a Coliseum Challenge gets to meet Lady Venus in person and receive a Shadow Pokemon. One day I'm going to enter and get my Shadow Pokemon. 
Before that, I'll test with the opposition, starting with you! Here goes! Interesting. So is the sh Hmm. Is the Shadow Pokemon plan just like... a bunch of people from the under trying to rise up in revenge or something? Why does Feebas look like, a uh, Like, dead Magikarp, while the actual Magikarp is flopping around like it's dead? Well, let's see. Not sure if I should fear the magic card. Either it's actually gonna do something, it's just dead. We're never gonna know. Goodbye, magic card. Barely gave any experience. Oh no! Well, thank goodness that Skitty isn't around. Haha, <laughs> get flinched, idiot! I guess I'll Psybeam the Waylord. Oh dear. <laughs> That's a lot of health. Yeah, let's get rid of the Feebass and then we can start uh, focusing on the giant fuck off blimp whale. So you have two normal fish, and then just a giant monstrosity. Oh, that's horrifying. Shudo ball. I probably should have used a Confuse Ray on it to buy me more time, because... Look at that health. Please, Flinch! Flinch, please? Haha! <laughs> Get flinched, idiot! And uh, since we're already here, I'm just uh, gonna try and focus you down and hope I get lucky, cuz uh, I. <laughs> ah, I think you might actually die! Its eyes are horrifying. Goodbye, Waylord. That's a lot of experience. I hurt- I beat Gurks. I'll never become the champ if I'm losing here! Well, you're not wrong. Ah, shoot! I'm not giving up until I win that the Colosseum and get me a Shadow Pokemon of my own! This feels like a bootleg place. It appears my grandchild recently joined something called the Kids' Grid. Since then, I get this feeling that parts have been slowly disappearing from the shop. When the Under used to be a mining town, the junk shop's owner used to be the train driver. But where's this railway supposed to be in the Under? I've never seen it. I can't believe that Ingo and Emmett stole the Under's train. Ah, oh, sheesh. What should I do? I have to make a delivery, but I'm still not done cleaning. Hey, wait! Wow, aren't you Neon and Rui? Huh? How do you know who we are? I thought so! This makes things easy. Please, can I get you to deliver this part to Net's house? Power-up part. But, wait... <laughs> Just tell Net that it's from Purr. He'll know, tell you the details. Net's house is the one that the big rotating antenna dish. You'll know which one is uh, one it is as soon as you see it. All right, house down from giant spinny antenna dish. Gotcha. Oh, it's anime, dude. Venus, what is your situation? Well, a couple of mice appear to be running loose, Nascour, but it's nothing to worry about. We'll catch them right away, pulverize and mash them up. <laughs> Fine. The priority is to distribute Shadow Pokemon. Don't forget. As for you, I'm. Hurry. Complete the Shadow Pokemon's development as soon as possible. Your trust will not be misplaced, Master Nascour. Already sufficient Shadow Pokemon battle data has been gathered from our minions. My masterpiece, the most powerful Shadow Pokemon in history, shall soon be ready!
good. I will be waiting for good news. That is all. Now, it is time we return to the lab and put on the finishing touches. We just kind of get to see the inside. Come, back to the lab. Yes, sir. Interesting. They showed that on purpose for some reason. Hmm, but it doesn't seem like there's any healing down here. Except for you. Hmm. I do enjoy the music down here, though. Let me quickly check my Pokemon, because I should probably... Uh, th hmm. Maybe I should go buy more healing dealies. Oh, wow. Am I just out of, like, normal potions? Nope, here's some super potions. Hmm. Considering how dangerous it is down here, I think I'll swap to Espeon to start nuking down enemies more. The antenna isn't broken. Venus must be interfering with our signal. Ah, crap. Gotta maneuver around Rui. You brought me the power apart from Purr? Great! I was waiting for that! Huh? Are you... Are you the Neon and Rui? Oh, wow, this is too awesome! Come on, you have to get inside! Quick, quick! Is this where the only healing station's gonna be? That'd be cool. Meg! Net! You won't believe who just dropped in for a visit! We've got some shocking company! Shocking company? Try not to be too shocked when you hear it! It's Neon and Rui! No, really? Bid, is that true? Is that Neon really here? <laughs> See for yourself! Hi, I'm Net. Second Pyrite has told me about what you've been doing so far. Handed the power parts to Net. Oh, this is from Purr. Great! This is all I needed to get the kids' grit back up and running again. My big brother Net managed to get a little bit of data out of Cypher's computers. The data says there's a lab somewhere that makes shadow Pokemon. Yeah, we're ready to face them down. Just a room. I kind of like it when games have just a room. Not there for any reason except to exist. Makes places feel lived in. Like they designed a room and then put important things around it for gameplay and story. I better explain. A little while ago, we somehow lost access to the kids' grid. We think it's caused by a jamming signal that's interfering with the kids' grid. It's probably Venus's doing. But this power-up part you delivered will let me boost up our equipment. When we get the kids' grid back up, I'll try to hack their computers for useful data. Ned is a genius. He's been gathering all sorts of data on those crooks. Yeah, that's basically it, I guess. Oh, Neon, wait, please. May I have your PDA number? We'll contact you just as soon as we discover anything. Gave the PDA number to Meg. Thank you. We'll do our best to gather useful information for you. The spy! We spotted the spy! Who? Spy! I saw a spy! I got to thinking that maybe you folks are the spies, but I see I've been barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> I got to thinking that maybe you folks are the spies, but I say I've been barking up the- Look over there in front of the elevator! We finally found a spy! Well, he actually- Technically, yeah! Cat, Let me go! Let me go! Shut up, it's hopeless, quit struggling! You just keep getting captured. You suck at this. Now you be a good boy. Lie still. Am I gonna have to fight both of them to save him? 
Who might you be? If you're tourists, you're getting out in our way. Go on, scram. Hold on, you two? You're not from around these parts, are you now? I get it, you came to rescue your pal here. You two are spies too! Peon Cloak! We shall annihilate you. Lydian and Spinarak. Well, that's dangerous. They're both bug types. They could annihilate poor Espeon. And you probably have reinforcements as well. Ah, one of them is a shadow Pokemon! Well, might as well smack down the Lydian, because Lydians are usually... At least the one Lydian I've ran into is pretty tanky. Don't you dare, you bastard. Well, good. She, they already got their move off. Now bite that Lydian! And now we should be able to capture you relatively easily. Nightshade? It glared at my poor baby. Uh... Well, you are kind of a super basher, so... Go! Great ball! Snag me that Lydian! It's been a bit since we've thrown a snag ball. Come on! Give me that Lydian! It's what I want! One! Damn it! And is confused. Damn it! Well, at least to use Safeguard. What's that do? And what's that do? Slows down speed? Oh no, can't escape. Hmm. You know what? I'll use Espeon's turn. To throw that. Then I'll start biting the Spinarak. Give me that Lydian. It's mine. Blah. Let's go for a, a full capture, but you're probably going to walk two. Wobble two. Oh, wobble three. Haha, <laughs> it gave it to me. My pessimism was not secure. Oh, hey, Volbeat. We haven't seen one of you in this game yet. That's a lot of damage. And you're going to blast poor Espeon again, aren't you? Luckily, I'll be able to use a Hyper Potion. Haha, <laughs> you stupid idiot. You thought that you had me in your clutches. But Lunf, unfortunately for you, I am a god. And now just crunch that little Spinarek. Get out of here! Bye-bye. Oh, no, you're gonna be an evadey little evader, son. An evadey little evader? Well, guess what? Swift. And I think faint attack, too. Oh, yeah, I forgot you're confused. But you swift anyway. Good job, Espeon. You have big brain. Get splatted by the stars. Kind of interesting that it has actually a blinking tail that you don't really see all that often due to the camera angles. Maybe if... No, because even on my team, I view my team from the front. Once again, swift and faint attack. Snapped out of confusion. Good job, Espeon. You are smart, dog. Six. I hear six times that this game has... Barely let something get to the end of a bar. Jesus fucking Christ! Yeah. If I didn't have, like, guaranteed hit moves, that would have been scary. This spy's actually strong! Damn right I am. And now I can use super potions. Oh, fuck. I wanted to heal. Don't be too hasty about relaxing. I'm up next. 
Dagger. Cloak and dagger. You think you're funny. That Ariados is a shadow Pokemon, isn't it? Or maybe you'll uh, trick me and it's actually a normal Pokemon. Well, let's see. Rui, the answer is... Ah, oh, it's actually a normal Pokemon. But still, Hyper Potion. Oh, what's that? You thought that you were going to win the day. You thought you were going to be a smarty little smarty son. Get confused, idiot. Ah, crap, it's going to use Stun Spar. <laughs> okay, the look it gives you when it does that is horrifying. And now you're synchronized, idiot. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool. You utter meringue. You bibbity bobbity bubbish bibbity 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 Die. Om nom on the diary of the You know, now looking at the big ol' eyes on the Aridos, my mind immediately jumps to, so I'm a spider, so what now? The now is not part of the title. It's just that... <laughs> quote, so I'm a spider, so what? Qu unquote, now. Level up for Bianca. Good job. Ah, makes sense. That's where the other one is. Hmm, who should get Psybeamed? Psybeam you, and then bite the area dust. That move gives me nightmares from <laughs> Mystery Dungeon. Because in Mystery Dungeon, big rooms count as one room. And there are moves that affect the entire room. So if there's an enemy on the other side of the room with a room-hitting move of a very big room, you are in for pain. Especially when the dungeons decide, hey, we're gonna make a, a single layer of the dungeon a single floor. So there's a giant room with a bunch of Pokemon, some of which that no moves that attack the entire floor, when the dungeon at that point is just a giant floor. But luckily, that's like post-game stuff. Post-game nightmares! How could we lose the both of us? It's because you're in practical heel. You're in. You are in impractical heels. We're out of our league against this guy. Well, shit. Oh wowie! I'm so lucky. I never thought I'd get to see an exciting battle from this close. Hey, dipshit. Neon, it's me, Silva! Pepe Silvia. From Dukings? I discovered that they were bringing Shadow Pokemon to Pyrite from here! That's as far as I got when they caught me like this! But I managed to filch this from them. Here you go! The R Disc! I think it's an item that's useful only down here in the under. And it definitely is. Let's see. So I need a full heal and then uh, some super. Full heal, full heal, full heal, heal, heal. Where do I get the other discs? That's my question. Maybe I only need forward and right? Hmm. I guess I'll buy a few more full heals just to be safe. And a few more hyper potions, because paranoia. I probably don't need 22 hyper potions, but I'm scared. I'm very scared. And I suppose I should go use a save station, which is up here. And suave, just in case. 
Because maybe I just need front and right as UFO discs. <laughs> Again, it's kind of funny when I was just like, hmm, maybe this uh, F disc, what is that? And it's just like, makes the UFO go forward. And I'm just like, what the fuck is that? Uh, forward. In the forward direction. So I'm then ah, so yeah, there's like different ways to go. I should throw that guy off into the abyss for his own good. Herbal medicine works great, but your Pokemon will dislike you for making them take it. It's not like I've tried it, but it must be horribly bitter or something. That guy totally. So base revival herb, but that doesn't seem cheap. Hmm. So this guy is obviously some kind of quest. Let's see. Feifu Fof. Mufafu. Hmm. F so I think thank you for something, something. I have no idea. Oh, hey, here's the Pokemon Center. I haven't been in a Colosseum battle yet, but I'm always interested in the prizes they give out. It thrills me even thinking about what new Shadow Pokemon I get to see next. How do you like that? They openly give out Shadow Pokemon in this town. What? I, 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 I did not know! I did not know! What? What? No, I, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I want to do... Oh. Huh. So that's one way to... I guess now we can just instantly come here anytime we want. Huh. Interesting. I thought that was going to lead me to, like, a story point somehow. Huh. Not sure if I trust Pokemon Center in a place that freely gives out Shadow Pokemon. Then again, maybe they just don't know that Shadow Pokemon are, like, in utter agony. Excuse me, fellow. This talk of spies loose in the under. Is it true? Yes. Ah, but have no fear. My Makuhito here will clean up the spy problem. I think this is, uh, yeah, Lavender's... Is that Lavender's place? I want to do exploring first. Welcome to the Underground Coliseum. A knockout challenge just ended a short while ago. I'll start registering trainers for the next knockout live challenge just as soon as Lady Venus just finishes giving the prizes to the winner. Alright. Now we will, yeah, head back, do the right. Then again, right. Because now I'm back in my... Okay, we're going to activate it to go forward again because I think going to the right is story stuff. Because we got the forward disc when we beat... I forget. I think when we beat some of Mirror B's guys. So this should be perfectly fine. And uh, Silva gave us the actual story continuing thing. So we can go underground. Even though it looks like the place that everything went down. Huh? Are you looking for an autograph from me, the challenge champ? <laughs> it doesn't appear to open from this side. Alright, so... Interesting. And that was it. We're gonna save again. Because paranoia, paranoia, everybody's coming to get me. But yeah, so far I'm really liking this game. Again, kind of sad that I can't swap Pokemon out upon, uh, like, knocking dudes out, but... So far, like, the world is kind of interesting. Shadow Pokemon are kind of interesting, and that mechanic is cool. So 
Yeah, it's just very interesting. Cool. Let us go to the right. Don't know how this UFO is totally working, but this world has levitation technology. For some reason. Okay, folks, we're ready to go on the air. Hey, you there. Don't wander around the set. Rare candy. Three of them. But do I want to use them? Lady Venus is especially confident on her right profile. Alright, we're obviously going to go up against... A boss fight, I assume. Testing, testing. The rain in the under is accompanied by thunder. Testing. You two, you're holding up the film shoot. We're about to begin filming. Wait, who are you? Ah, I recognize those faces. Those faces were on the blacklist from headquarters. How did you find us? But that's not important now. I'll squash you myself and collect a reward from Master Nescower. Live in front of the whole under. Your your outfit is gaudy. Oh, motherfucker Steelix. I need to bring out uh, Intei. I need to bring out Father. I think. Because Steelix is steel. Duh. Uh, kill you, and, uh... Confuse Ray the Steelix! Okay, that... That haughty little... <laughs> walk is... Was neat. Espeon, don't you dare cheat on Umbreon! How dare you! Why is... Why is this kind of, like... Quirky, funky music playing? Be confused, a little idiot. Be confused, yeah? Motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Well, you killed your Delcaddy, friend. Well, this is gonna power level Bianca, son. Bennett. Alright, uh, on your move, I'm going to, uh, Hyper Potion you. And, uh, wait for an opening of that there. Like, uh, you just wait for an opening. Shadow Ball. Blair. You gonna throw that Espeon? Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ, that just nuked it. Asshole game. My super effectives don't kill. Hmm. I'm gonna throw out Bianca. Because then Earthquake won't do anything to him. And you used Earthquake again. Haha, <laughs> idiot. You are killing your allies so much. And of course, now you throw out a vile plume when. Well, then again, you have. Diddly D, so. Side beam that. And, uh. Hyper potion. Also, just gotta say that. Frickin' Steelix has been confused since turn one, and the game has been like, Oh no, we're not gonna make it hit itself when it uses its super powerful moves. Um, uh, please use your super powerful move. I beg of you, don't you dare hit it now. The one time where you would be useful to kill your super powerful friend. Yo, motherfucker.
Strike him down, goddammit. Flinch, bastard. Of course you snap out of your confusion. Keep trying to side beam, and you know what? Father, get out here. Now watch him use... You watch him use Earthquake right as I throw Intei out. Because this game is a cheat. Come on, blast through it. Bastard. I knew you would, you bastard. And that's gonna instant kill Entei. Live with like a sliver of health. He lived with a slither of health. I'm gonna use your turn to Hyper Potion Father. And now I'm going to Fire Blast your face. Because you're steel and this should work. You big old jerk. Yay. Mine. 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 Yes. Please. Yes. Yes. Alright, uh... Hmm. I'm not gonna cast... Like, uh, bibbidi ba Confusion. On Suicune. Just in case the game is mean. Get rid of you, you mean jerk. And you use Surf, so Suicune's probably gonna die. Oh, not, not Suicune. Uh, Intei, father. All right. I uh, uh, don't know what to use because nothing's weak. I'm gonna swap you out. Hmm. I'm gonna throw Lammy in. Then on Intei's turn, I'm gonna revive Espeon so we can try and do things. Because I want to test out just how strong you are without killing you. Suicune, 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 Suicune. You bastard. <laughs> I don't even need to do a thing. You did it to yourself. And I suppose on your turn, I shall hyper potion you. And let's see. I guess Leer to make the Swift better. Because I don't want to use a super effective move against Suicune when Suicune might just get crit and die. Because I don't think we'd be getting any kind of, like, run back with Suicune. Then again, maybe the game. I don't want to use Secret Power either because it says move type normal, but it's, like, power is dependent on things. I don't think a bite would kill you. I don't think bite would do too much, but I did lower its defense. And it could get a crit. I don't think a crit bite would kill it. Okay, bite is not to worry about at all. 
Like, not at all. Really, it's the recoil from Shadow Rush we really need to worry about. And then I think after this, we'll swift a bit more, but throw balls on Umbreon's turn. Then again, a crit swift could potentially be very bad news. Gonna start throwing Ultra Balls. And this is like the last swift I'm willing to do before things get bad. Give it to me nice and easy, please. Give it back to me nice and easy, please, you won. No. Please don't crit. Yeah, we are not using another attack at all. Another attack is basically guaranteed for this motherfucker to die. The moment I try to use another move, Suicune will die. <laughs> Get in the ball, please. Please. Pretty please. It's a one. It's a two. It's a three. Oh no, it's gonna do Shadow Rush again. Oh, it's good. Please don't. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please. Not much recoil for you, please. Oh, Jesus, please get in the ball. Get in the ball. Can I double throw? If I can double throw, I will. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. For the love of God, game, it is paralyzed and on death's door. And I'm using the best Pokeball I can get. One, two, three. Thank God. I'm so glad that didn't go out live on the air. I'm, I assume we're going to uh, turn and realize that all was live and on the air. Oh no, Lady Venus was knocked down! Ah, run away! Hey, how dare you! How could I get bested by a mere boy? Remember this, I'll get you back for this! Found a nine file. I'm file F. Final report. Some interesting discoveries were made about the purification process. There are several ways to cause the opening of the heart's door, and the resulting effects appear to differ with the original nature of the Pokémon. Also, as the purification process advances, the Shadow Pokémon regains its moves in its original nature. When the purification process is complete, the Pokémon regains all the experience points it has accumulated, perhaps even enough to level up. By effectively using these features, it may be possible to create even more powerful Shadow Pokémon. Interesting. TM45. I don't look at TMs. They are beneath me. Who needs technical machines when I'm this basic? Obviously, we need to come down here. Is that a Sfeel? That's a Slack Off? That's a Low Tad? Zigzagoon? She's running the fuck away. And again, they specifically show that. Yes, unlock the door. And it doesn't force me to go. Good, now I can save. Why does it feel like we're getting like near the end of the game now? Like it can't, but it feels like it. Well, let's see. If we go by, like, gym leader rules, there was Mirror B. Then there was Dakim. Then Venus. I wonder what this way is. So I think I went the right way. She took an elevator, and uh, I'm going to have to fight my way down. 
Whoops, there were other spies. You're not getting past me. I'm going to get past you. I'm coming in. Ooh, a Teddy Ursa. It's been a while since we've seen a Teddy Ursa. Adorable Teddy Ursa that takes punches like a champ. Uh, blow up Teddy Bear with mind. But yeah, it feels like we're nearing the end. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's like Deku Midoriya. Why are they both using fake tears? They're preparing to murder my baby boy. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. Goodbye, Jigglypuff. You are now dead. Who are you going to send out next? Gligar. Oh, that's a Shadow Pokemon. It's been a while since one was, like, thrown out. Goodbye, Teddy Ursa. You are now dead. <laughs> it's like it was having a seizure when it fell to the ground. Jesus. Good job, Bianca. You are leveling up good. I don't... Let's, we'll at least take a look at Pain Split. As the user and targets HP, then shares it equally. Like, I guess... If you go down to low health, that would be good, but... And fixes the target will look prevents escape. That is basically meaningless to me. I am never, like... That's never going to be used in this game. And I swear, game, if you throw something at me, it's like, surprise! Thing runs away now. I'm going to be angry. I'm going to punch you in the nuts. I don't really care about Gliger that much, but if we get Gliger, we get Gliger. If I get Gligger, I get Gligger. Hmm. And I forgot to add Suicune! I am a fool! Your special attack may have risen, but uh, you're going to die. <laughs> Blast away! Ba 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 Ah, good. The Shroomish is dead. Everything has returned to normal. All right, we'll use Swift, and then we'll uh, throw some Great Balls at it. If it gets too bothersome, we'll just nuke it from orbit. Die, you bastard. Get Swifted, idiot. And now you're gonna kill my dog. You bastard. And I guess, uh... I guess I'll throw... Well, it doesn't really matter all that much, because you don't get experience for catching. I miss Legends Arceus, and it's good game design. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, we're just gonna throw a great ball at ya. Hi, diddle diddle, die. Go, great ball. Bring me that Gliger and stay. One wobble, two wobbles, three wobbles. It's mine now. No! I'm not supposed to lose. I've won the Coliseum Challenge! 
If you're mean to me, I'm going to cry, okay? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna quickly head back, heal, put Suicune into the party. And other such things. First things first, heal. Ding, 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 ding. And, da, da, da. and we're going to put, well, first things first, uh, dang it, I have to leave. Annoying that I can't manage the items in there of held Pokemon, or items held by Pokemon. I will take Mystic Water, because we are going to swap Theodore for Suicune. And uh, deposit. And we shall withdraw. Because legendary dogs are nice. And now we shall save. Correction. We are going to give the mystic water to Suicune. And then we're going to save. Alright. We are going to give to Suicune. And now we're going to save. Because we've been going for about three hours, and we got to a nice stopping point. We beat Venus, and now we're going to be chasing Venus through a whole corridor of people. So, that shall be it for now. So we can begin the game knowing exactly where we're going to be going. And uh, just do things. See where we go. Because... Obviously, we're going to go to the lab to beat Ayn, but then we also need to fight their boss eventually. Then there might be a gauntlet challenge of all the bosses leading up to their boss, maybe. I don't know. I've, I've never played this game, but remember. But, yes. Really enjoying this game. I like the design of, like, the aesthetic of the different areas. The... It's kind of interesting because they seem to have asked themselves, how do we make a Pokemon game without random battles? And they're really making it work. they have It's really cool. So yeah, I, I really like this. And I can't wait to continue. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have a link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, that holds links to basically everything that I do. From edited and scripted YouTube videos, which I swear, content for that is going to be coming sometime. Bleh, I meant to make videos this year, but brain. Hopefully next year. I'm writing more scripts, I just need to voice them and edit them. And the editing process is the hardest part for me because brain is evil. Meh. But, yes, Neon Icy Wings, YouTube for edited and scripted YouTube videos. Then for streaming, I have a Twitch channel, Neon Icy Wings, or YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. And then, on Neon Icy Games, the YouTube channel, all these streams get uploaded to, so if you like that, mabada. Then, what else, what else? So I also do art, like my little character in the corner. And if you want more art from me, links to all the art sites I upload to can be found in the link tree. And if you want to, to like, read stories that I've written, also there in the link tree. And if you want to be super kind, there's also a link to my Patreon, so if you want to, you can throw a dollary do my way to stave off the darkness of my heart. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.